things to look forward to. I'll start with the big stuff. I picked up quite a few things uh, in the past couple weeks. The first was the Morphe 35O palette. <laughs> I told you I was waiting on this one and it finally got here and it is beyond worth it, you guys. If you have, I know it's sold out right now. If you have the chance in the future to pick it up, I highly recommend you do. Um, some favorites include this little fucker right here. Also, all the metallic ones are just insane. Like, insanely good. And then you have, like, the burnt oranges type. The burnt colors, which are just, like, I mean, look. And this one's got, like, a little duochrome. And, like, these are just amazing. Yes! Can I get an amen? Can I get an A fucking man? That's amazing. Um, I just got it in the mail maybe, like, two days ago. So I haven't had time to just play with it but i've been swatching it and it's like don't get rid of me yeah quit being such a fucking weirdo then i also picked up uh because i had an ulta 20 percent off coupon for being a platinum member for being a bitch that spends way too much money on fucking makeup i got the vice palette along with some lashes but i don't think you guys want to see lashes i got the vegas nay grand glamour or something like that lashes and then uh, a double pack of my favorite which are the demi wispies from ardell but I got the Vice 4 palette, and this is a really cool packaging that I hadn't seen before. So it's got the netting on the inside in black, and then this overlay is actually like a plastic net on top, like I can fit my nails under it. I don't know if you can see that, but my nail can go under it because it's slightly above the rest of the palette. It's got Vice at the bottom, um, a magnetic closure, I'm sure everybody has seen it by now. Stands up on its own, whoop the friggin' do, I don't have a vanity, so I... Pick it up anyway. But I'm going to try to do this without the thing. Here are all the colors of the Vice 4 palette. Um, it's got a nice range of like pinks and greens, which is basically the reason I bought it was this row here. And this really nice orange. That is really nice. And then Grasshopper, which is this color. It's just amazing. And um, I think that's under underhand. It's just a gorgeous plummy purple, like a burgundy a cranberry color. It's beautiful. I haven't had a lot of time to use it. I literally got it on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So I haven't had a ton of time to use it, but so far so good. And I'll have swatches on my blog so you can see all of that. Um, I'll try to get through the like other stuff before I get to the exciting stuff. I picked up three more of the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks. I got um, got Cherry Skies, which I'll swatch here. It's a very like Taylor Swift esque color, like Cherry Lips Crystal Skies. Is what it is what it makes me think of. I got Amethyst, which is a gorgeous purple that I don't know if it is or not because I don't have Jeffree Star's uh, lipstick to compare but to me it seems very similar to I'm royalty and then um, while I was in Fort Worth to see the Taylor Swift concert and to visit my boyfriend I also picked up the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow and metallic emerald and this has been in my little focus okay focus on this there we go it was in my Taylor Swift 1989 makeup tutorial, which is the makeup that I wore to the concert. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow. If you want to see it in action, uh, if you want to see it in action, head over to that video because it's like ridiculously good. It's ridiculously nice. Here, bring it in a little closer. And then Landon actually brought bought me one of the Josie Marin uh, coconut water coconut watercolor eyeshadows. And this is in the shade Rio de Rose Gold. So I'm gonna swatch that on the back of my hand. And it's a beautiful, like hyper metallic pink, coppery gold. Beautiful. I had it on my lips today and I got a lot of compliments on it. Just because it's so reflective that people I think take notice of it. Um let's see what else. I placed an order on ColourPop Cosmetics because they came out with their cream gel liners and to push me over the free shipping range, I got the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tool, which is a gorgeous, like, brownie pink with a little bit of, like, burnt red in it. It's a very Kylie Jenner color, 
which is very this comfort. one on the lips. I was saying that it feels weightless. It's a very thin layer of product, which is nice. And then I picked up six of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. And I'm not going to swatch them all just because it's um, going to be kind of crazy of me. And they're all up on my blog. So you can go check them out. Very, this is a coppery kind of rose gold color. It's very smooth, very creamy. So got no exit, which is just a flat white. It's pretty opaque, actually, considering um, whites are very hard to pull off on liners. And it's also very creamy. So this is Prance, it's like a periwinkle blue, very creamy, very pigmented. Um, it did take a little bit of layering to get just right, uh, but nothing crazy. This is the shade Cry Baby, which is a light lavender, um, a little patchy. It tends to look kind of white on the lids, so you want to make sure you layer it a bit more. This is the driest of them all that I got. This is Dirty Talk. It's a straight up gold with lots of sparkle. You kind of have to press it down before you get a creamy consistency out of it, but once you kind of mush it all together, it tends to come apart in chunks. So just kind of mush it all together with your brush, and after that it's super easy to, to work with. Focus. This is Zulu, which is makes me think of Prince Zuko, actually, from Avatar. I'm a, such a fucking nerd. And I'm such a fucking nerd. And this is like a minty green uh, color. Very smooth, very pigmented, not patchy at all. If I were to recommend any of these, I'd probably recommend Get Paid, which is the coppery rose gold, and Zulu. These are both really, really nice. Okay. So, last thing I got was from the MAC. Oh, that's dirty. That's kind of embarrassing. This is the MAC um, Enchanted Eve Holiday Collection. Um, came out last week. October 23rd, last week, I think. Um, it's kind of centered around jazz, very elegant, sparkly, glamorous kind of vibe, and I got several things from it. This is the pink lip bag, uh, where the pink lip kit comes in. It comes with a liner, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. And it comes with this really nice bag, it's actually got a, quite a bit of room in it. Sneak peek! Oh, so excited! So this is the lip gloss that came with it. It's called Frosted Dreams, I think? Frozen Dreams. Very nice, kind of, obviously, a frosty pink. It's a very pretty color. Just this one right here. That's Fro Frozen Dreams. I'll actually wait until I have everything out to show you swatches. And it came with the lipstick called um, Goodbye Kiss. It's an amplified cream. Another cool tone pink. I'll swatch it right next to this so I can show you. And then it came with a lip liner called Just Wonderful, which also has a special limited edition packaging, and it looks like that. Very smooth and pigmented. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, but nothing that actually translate. It translates into your lip, so um, it's a very awkward swatch. This is... Sorry, maybe this is better? Okay. <laughs> this is Just Wonderful. Um, goodbye, goodnight kiss, and frozen dreams, or goodbye kiss, sorry. Now I got two of the regular, my general collection release lipsticks, which come in this really, like, metallic, reflective purple packaging. One of them was actually permanent, but I wanted it because of the packaging. It's called Please Me. It's a very, um, nice pink matte. It's kind of neutral, it's neither, neither cool nor warm. If anything, it leans a little warm on my skin, but that's it right there. Lovely formula, very comfortable. And the other one I got is Evening Rendezvous, which is a plummy matte. It's a matte? Yes. It's a plummy purple, like a matte. And I haven't swatched this, so I'm kind of hesitant to swatch it. I literally got it in the mail today, uh, so I'm going to put it right here. It's a crappy yes swatch. There's Evening Rendezvous. This one right here. It's a matte, very smooth actually. I very like that. And then my boyfriend actually went to, I think it was like two or three MAC counters to track down the mineralized skin finishes for me because if you were after these, you know that they sold out in minutes on the MAC website. Like I had no hope in hell of getting them. One, because they released the day before payday. 
and two because I was working. I had just had no way of stocking these online. So they come, um, he went and got them for me, which is really nice of him. Thank you, Landon. They come in like metallic blue packaging. Um, this one here is called Shaft of Gold. It's like a, um, a bit of coppery, darker gold. You can see this is more of the last color that it looks like in real life and it's got the embossed. It's got like the MAC, it's got the MAC pattern on it. And then this one is the little fucker that everybody was after, which is called Oh Darling. Very metallic yellow gold right here. And they're completely untouched, which I'm really excited about. Like really. Virgin, Virgin products are very exciting, whatever. Um, so on my index finger, I'm going to have Oh Darling, and then on my middle finger, kidding, on my middle finger, I'm going to have Shaft of Gold. They're both so, so nice. We were playing around with Oh Darling on my counter one night, and it was just, like, amazing how it looks on the cheeks. So I already know I'm going to love this one. So this is Oh Darling, and this is Shaft of Gold, and I'll see if I have some room here. Whatever. So this is Oh Darling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And this is Shaft of Gold. They're both very nice. I think I'm gonna end up using Shaft of Gold as like an eyeshadow or a blush topper. That's Phoebe. She's getting like into her gremlin stage of the night. And that is basically all the shit I do. I'm still planning on going to the Sephora VIP Rouge sale. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any products or you wanna see them on a blog post or you want me to see you want to do looks with them just let me know and i'll do any look that your little heart desires so i'll see you all in my next video lovely talking to you this evening i'll see you then bye